I tell people all the time, the older I get, the slower I get. But I got to tell God, thank you. I still can move on a little further. But I know somebody here. Do y'all know him? Mm, I do want you to know that heaven, boy, that's good news, is the throne where he sat. In heaven, there's nothing above heaven. And the earth is his footstool. Somebody ought to just bless his name. Tell him, Father, bless your holy name. Bless you. Lord Jesus. I normally get three, but it was so, it was just so much. I might have to do another round on it, but I'm gonna, I can't do it all today. But Psalms, I, I went back to the Psalms and my research and looking, and I couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. Some say, the boss man said, you better put it down. So I said, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Psalm 47, and look at verse 8. And he wants you to know 47 verse 8 that God is seated on a throne of holiness. Yeah. That's what's so attractive to me. He's seated on a throne of holiness. Boy, that's mighty good to me. It makes me, it makes me get some power on the inside. God is holy. Watch this. And where he's seated at, where he sat down at, is holy. Lord have mercy. Can somebody tell God thank you? Mighty good. Now you know, if he's holy already, sitting down in the throne, on the throne that's holy, you know he ain't going to keep it all for himself. He sent some blessing down to you and I. And I need somebody here to help me out today and just say, all oh, my help come from the Lord. He help us every day of our lives. He's there with Holy Ghost help. Uh, you ain't got to stand in the line to wait for the help. That looked good to me. He can help all of us at the same time. And I ain't talking about just in Louisiana. I'm talking about this United States, other worlds, everywhere. God loves everybody. That's why when I look at the 66 people who they was, I ain't going to go through that. That hurted me. Tears fall from my eyes because they ain't found them, found them all yet. And we got to use our spiritual weapon against these evildoers, and they are happy about it. They're happy. They're just happy. Help me, Father. Help me. Thank you all for praying, brothers and sisters who prayed today. Well, the first point that I want to bring to you is the majestic government from the throne. A majestic government from the throne. That's, that's a text all by itself. Mm -hmm. Look, and put down, support that. There's so much more. As I first said to you, Matthew 25 and verse 31. He wants you to know in that verse of the 25, chapter 31 of Matthew, he's coming. In his glory, he sat on the throne of his glory. That's good news to know that our Father is coming and to know that the majestic government he controls all by himself. Can I help you out a little bit? Just a little bit. There was those hierarchy on their throne. Can I call about two Fario's? Thought he had everything under control. And uh, he said, I'm going to get them slaves. Bring them back. 
and put him on the sleeve. But just what he thought he had it all sold up. Can I help you all out when he thought he had it all sold up? There was a tremendous fall. I think I got some help. Because he has said, where them slaves can go. What's that? I can go also. But I stopped by to tell you, God, people, he can take care of them. And it don't make no difference how high your throne may be here. There's somebody else got a throne above your throne. And no matter what you think you can do, he can do whatever he please. And there's no failure in God. Boy, he went down, I tell you. Time don't allow me to tell you all that happened. But he went down. Because <laughs> God was up. <laughs> and when God is in control and you his child, he don't, it don't matter who don't want you where you are. God is able to protect you. Is there anybody here that God been good to? Watches over you. He is your protector. Uh, I got to call somebody else. One more. I'll just call one more. Nebuchadnezzar, you know, he up there on the hierarchy, you know. He got the fire furnace. He got a guard. He want to bow down. But them boys say, look, you can do what you want. We ain't bowing. The God we serve. Somebody ought to help me out right there. Y'all can do what you want, he said. Make it hotter and hotter and hotter. And I don't know about you, but I stopped by to tell you when God is in control. I think I got some help right here. Is there anybody can help me out a little bit? When God is in control. Boy, he thought he had it going on because he had control over fiery furnace. But I stopped by to tell you the fire got hot and killed him on the outside. But God took care of them boys in the fire. Can I ask somebody, will he take care of you in the fire? I got to check the house. Have he done something for you that you couldn't do for yourself? Did God do some things? That you could not do for yourself? Did God stop by and brought you out of some danger, some toils, some heartache, some trial? God stopped by. King thought he had a sight problem. You no, know we put in three. He thought he had a count problem. He thought he had all kinds of problems. But I tell you what, that's the way to work when God is on your side. Those who work against you, they get some problems. I see four. <laughs> Y'all ought to help me out. He, he wasn't no church goer, but the form of the false one looked like the Son of God. There's a majestic government from the throne. I got to say that again because I feel pretty good. There's a majestic government from the throne. I didn't have some blessing that day I can't pay for. But I got sense enough to tell him thank you. Oh Lord, I got to help somebody out. I got to tell him thank you. Thank you for right now. It just now ain't made nine o'clock yet, but I had some blessing the day already I can't pay for, and I gotta tell God, thank you for your blessing, because you keep blessing me. Oh Lord. Uh, point one can make me work it, but I I don't want to hold you too long. The second point is the throne of mercy and grace. And I need to give you some support, support for that. Mercy, the throne of mercy and grace. That's heavy by itself. I had to stop by Hebrew, y'all, 4 and 16. And look how he tells us that he said, let us come boldly. You ain't got to sneak up there. Boy, y'all going to make me preach in there. 
You walk up with your head up. You come boldly. That mean I can walk straight. That mean I can look with confidence. Can I work that boldly? That mean I can, if I just want to rock a little bit, I can rock because I'm going to the throne with grace. Somebody will tell God, thank you. And mercy. There's some places you just can't go. Watch it, Lord. Watch it. There's some, there's some highways they don't want you to travel on. Because they got these big biters there, you know. You get too close. They got them well trained. But I stopped by to tell you, I ain't got to go there. I ain't got to go there. But I can walk up boldly. I don't need nobody to be there to be my protector. I got a protector already. I got the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and I'm going boldly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. What you going there for, Lord? Why are you going there to the throne boldly? Because when I get there, I got grace, yes. and I got mercy. Yes. Boy, that's good need. Good. I can obtain my mercy and I can obtain my grace. And Hebrew tell you that 416 that can help us in times of need. Can I call the road? Anybody have been in a condition where you just needed God to stop by? I need somebody here to lift your hand and say to him, I need you, Father. I need you, I need you to be my supporter. I need, I need you to be my helper. Yeah. I need you, Father, to walk with me. Yeah. I need you, Father, to help me. I need you. Yeah. Right now, God, right now. Take care of my needs, y'all. There's a difference in a need and a want. Oh, y'all gonna make me preach in here. There's some things you might want, but there's some things I need. And God supply. Oh, Lord, he supply all my needs. And look, he don't do it. He don't do it. He do it because of his grace. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. And don't have, I got to remind you, God done did some things for you too. The day that you can't tell him thank you enough for. You able to lift your hand up? You able to shout hallelujah? You able to clap your hands? You able to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I got one thing to tell you. God didn't give me another day. If you able to do that, God is in control. God. Nobody but God. Oh, Lord, I feel pretty good. Nobody but God. Yeah. He got a throne of grace and mercy. Can I wait? This, this grace, mercy, 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 mercy. His mercy comes in. His mercy soothes. His mercy give me comfort. His mercy, I can work that a little. His mercy, his mercy rocked me in the cradle of his love. His mercy soothes me and said, look, I know the trouble is there, but a mercy, if you just hold on a little while longer, weeping men do. Somebody to help me out. For night, but joy go come in the morning. Anybody know you got some blessing on the way? If you don't mind, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you got some blessing on the way. God going to bless you with some blessing. All you got to do is keep the faith and hold on a little while. I go on a little longer, but you've been so nice today. I might as well go on on and labor my last point. I don't want to turn that alone, that loose right there with that throne of grace and mercy, but I don't overspend my time. But I want you all to know, final point here is, 
is a throne of holiness. Have mercy. Can I say that again? Boy, that's heavy. It's a throne of holiness. Revelation, you're going to see in 321. He wants you to know here to him that overcomes. Lord, have mercy. He's going to grant you the privilege, the prerogative. He's going to grant it to you. I ain't making it up. To sit down on the Father's throne. Boy, that's mighty good. You mean to tell me you can't go to the White House? I ain't going too far. And when you bypass Cav in the White House, you better put your hands up. Somebody said, Wake the text. Wake the text. Put your hand in your pocket. Wake the text. It might be your last walk. Yeah. But I stopped by to tell you, I had to. You know, I had to just pass that way. Yeah. But they ought to look at what he said here. The throne of holiness. Yeah. And they need to look at Revelation 3 and 21. Yeah. To him that overcomes. Yeah. Lord have mercy. I got some things. That, some things we all still got to overcome. But I need you just to lift your hands and tell God, thank you. Because you brought me over one thing. You brought me over two. You brought me over three. You brought me over four. And whatever up the road, you still going to enable me to overcome. Can I check the house here? There's something God done already allowed you to come through. You overcome because he's God all by himself. Can I help you out a little bit? He's on a throne in heaven. And you know here I need to just work it as I close. He got his eyes on you and I. The parasites that crawl on the ground. He put life in them. They're able to move by the power of God. Can I work it a little bit here? The fish swim in the water. And uh, he got life in them. I stopped by to tell you. He able to move by the power of God. Can I work it a little bit more? The bird can swing out on his wings. And fly in the atmosphere. But he put life in them. But that's not all you. Yo, I know what you already know that one day he took his son and went to a hill called Calvary. Can I help you out here? He hung him on a cross. He sure enough died. They thought they had him, but I got to tell you, they thought it was all over. They wanted to make sure he was dead. But I stopped by to tell you what they did him worked out for our good. Can somebody lift a hand and say, work it out, Lord. Work it out. Work, Lord. Work it out. Can somebody tell him, I need you, Father. I got to check the house. Won't he take care of all your burdens? Won't he bring you through your valleys? Won't he be a doctor in a sick room? Won't he? Be your friend in times of trouble. Anybody know that God can work it out? I stopped by to tell you he's on a throne of majestic power. He's on a throne of mercy and grace. He's on a throne of holiness. But I stopped by, pause a little while to lift my hands and tell God you been mighty good. Yeah, you been mighty good. You, you, you been mighty good.
good. Father, when I look back and see what you've done, you brought me over hill, you brought me over mountain, you brought me over valley, you lift me up a sick bed, you provide for me, 